T-piece resuscitators are now being recommended as best practice by the AAP for neonatal resuscitation for their ease of use, accurate and consistent peak inspiratory pressures, accurate and consistent peeps, and less operator fatigue. I'm here today to discuss with you the Neo-T T-piece resuscitator. Now this is the only T-piece resuscitator that does not require any extra capital equipment to run. It simply hooks to any oxygen source, a blended source, or straight to the flow meter and able to be able to provide both PIP and PEEP. The Neo-T I'm demonstrating here today is with the blue PEEP knob. This has an advanced PEEP knob that can deliver increased PEEP with decreased flows, has a pressure relief valve, and can deliver pressures up to 40 centimeters of water. It's also a stay put system where you can adjust your PIP and your PEEP without having to remove yourself from the patient or leave the bedside. Next, we'll discuss how to prepare a Neo-T T-piece resuscitator for neonates. Although it works off of any flow meter, it should be attached to a blended oxygen source. The first thing you do is attach it to the oxygen source, as seen here on this panda bed. Next, you'll increase your flow to 10. Then, you can adjust your FiO2 as needed. Remember, term babies are 21%, preterm 21 to 30%, and anytime you're giving compressions, make sure you've dialed it up to 100%. Once you've set your desired FiO2 and your flow at at least 10 liters per minute, it's time to set your PEEP or PEEP. You do this by dialing the PEEP knob with the end cap firmly in place until you reach your desired pressure, which is typically around five centimeters of water. Now it's time to set your PIP, or your peak inspiratory pressure. This is typically between 20 to 25 centimeters of water. Again, you'll make sure your end cap is firmly in place. You start with the inspiratory knob at the off position and dial it into the yellow position. You'll then occlude to see where this ends up. You can then adjust as needed to get to your desired peak inspiratory pressure, again, between 20 and 25 centimeters of water. So now you can see here, we have a PIP of 20 with a PEEP of five. Now that you've set your flow, your FiO2, your PIP and your PEEP, it's time to attach to the adjunct that you need to use for your patient. In this case, we'll attach it to a face mask. You can also attach it to an ET tube LMA or the CO2 detector on your ET tube. Right now I'm simply providing PEEP or end pressure with extra oxygen. If you need to provide positive end pressure as well, you simply occlude at the rate desired. You may need to change the rate delivered, the PIP, the PEEP, the FiO2, and even the flow. As with any positive pressure device, you'll need to look for increase in heart rate, chest rise, saturations, and change in the color of the patient. And this is how to utilize a Neo-T in neonates.